So a few days ago, I saw on Twitter this video clip of what appears to be an off-brand Winnie the Pooh, a generic version that uh, looks horrifying. Immediately, I'm like, where's his shirt? Where's Pooh's shirt? I'm, I'm used to him not wearing pants. Where's the shirt though? And why does he have like dead eyes and yassified eyebrows? Why does he have multiple teeth in his mouth? And why does he sound like Donald Trump, but with a Winnie the Pooh like impersonation? Uh, seriously, listen to him and how he talks. He sounds a lot like Donald Trump as Winnie the Pooh. Yes, I just said it to myself coming along, I wonder if. Christopher Robin has such a thing as a balloon about him, and I just said it. Total control. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing. Folks, I'm talking about the 2023 version of Winnie the Pooh. No, not the uh, blood and honey, whatever the hell that was. I'm talking about another ripoff. This one's a bit more um, shameless compared to uh, honey and blood. Who would have thought that could even happen? But uh, lo and behold, here it is, a movie that was like, yo, Disney, your copyright with uh, A.L. Milne or whatever, or Milne, Milne, <laughs> I looked up his name, hold on. Your copyright with A.A. Milne is up and uh, we're gonna steal it. We're gonna, <laughs> well, I guess technically it's not stealing it. We're gonna take some artistic liberties and really uh, ride your coattails. Except for Tigger, apparently Tigger is not in the public domain yet. So Disney's got a few more years. Uh, so that's why it's only Pooh and Piglet and Christopher Robin and Eeyore. I fucking hate this movie. The, the visuals are terrible. Look at Eeyore. He's a stupid like big horse head with a little horse body and he's always standing in water. Look at Piglet. And he looks like he's got like half a row of teeth on the front top of his mouth and then half a row of teeth on the bottom. I don't like it. Um, I don't know why Rue has eyes that are like little dot pupils from Crash Bandicoot or something. And then you got Kanga who looks like she has anime eyes. I, I don't know why uh, Pooh rolled around in mud and came out as a black bear. Uh, <laughs> this is bad. And look at Christopher Robin. Oh, he's wearing a shirt. Even though I can see a stupid belly button through it, like right there. Oh yeah, that's why. Uh, those aren't like clothes textures. It's just like basically a leotard slapped over this model. A model, by the way, all these models, uh, someone said on Twitter, I'm gonna echo the sentiment. Pretty sure these models were all downloaded from other websites or created by other animators and artists. And, and this happens with WoW now. This happens with a lot of like those mockbuster companies who are like, we just wanna make Finding Nemo, quote unquote. We wanna make Coco, quote unquote. We wanna make uh, Onward, quote unquote. Is it Homeward? <laughs> Onward. They, they get their own models that look kind of, you know, <laughs> like, uh, like the character they're trying to mimic. You know, after you have five shots of tequila and get punched by a donkey, by Eeyore, you know, then it kind of looks a little bit like the character, but um, there's no real, f like, thread, you know? These characters look like they come from different universes, especially Christopher Robin's father, who just terrifies me. Look at his skinny little lanky body sitting at the table while the other animals T-pose because they're fake toys. Ooh. Of course, this movie's on Tubi. Of course. You know, Amazon Prime, you've been kind of pushed to the side. I think Tubi has taken the golden crown of the uh, bargain, you know, bin of the internet when it comes to shitty animated films or films in general. It's free though, it's free. I watch this garbage on my channel, by the way. I do a Let's Watch, a bad movie night. I do bad movie nights on Thursdays, by the way. So you should check those out. Uh, we watched this, me and Rishi, and the, the film nearly broke me. I, I kid you not. It, it had me keeling over from how bad it was. Uh, one scene you got Pooh like floating around uh, with his little, <laughs> what appears to be his dingling hanging out while he's being carried by a balloon. And then another moment he's in like Halloween town uh, having Piglet dig his own grave. Visuals, terrible. Pacing, even worse. And the voice acting, atrocious. I know it's like, I, I can never really hate the voice actors when it comes to these kinds of productions because they're just getting paid. You know, no no shame in that, get that bag. Doesn't mean it's good though. This entire film sucks. And here's the weird part, because it's in the public domain with Pooh, uh, they just took like a word for word adaptation from, you know, double A over here 
and they just threw it into this movie. So the writer is technically the guy who wrote Winnie the Pooh, not even technically, just straight up is. Uh, it's just that it was conveyed and presented in a way that it can be considered a war crime by how atrocious it is. And the best part is I thought like, okay, so it must have been Wow Now who made this movie, right? Wow Now, the kings of the mockbuster. Hey, Asylum, move aside. It's Wow Now's time. Guess what? I was wrong. It's a new company. It's called like Gorillamation Films, which <laughs> come on. Gorilla Mation films. Go, go suck a pot of honey. You know, they know exactly what they want to be. They're like, well, yeah, we we know what we are. We we just, you know, borrow from better films and try to trick grandmas. That's all we're about. Uh we, we're here. And the audacity of this film to have one animator, how dare you? And then number two, to dedicate the film to somebody at the end. It's like dedicated to like, you know, Satan. But I think the biggest crime of all is once more taking something as sacred as Winnie the Pooh and then bastardizing it to this degree. All for the sake of money. There, you take something that is wholly wholesome and beautiful and sweet and simple, and then you're like, let's just destroy it. Let's just provide the worst presentation, the worst visuals, out of focus, lens flares everywhere. Look, the water falls in the shot. Everything else is not next to the character. Look, they float around. Owl somehow is floating and not flying. Uh, lip sync, never heard of it. Uh, the characters are sliding across the ground, clipping and clipping and clipping to the point where Pooh's arm clicks, clips through his body and looks like a, you know, <laughs> a honeysuckle. So I'm gonna show you all right here, uh, me and Rishi watching this film, just some parts of it, to highlight how terrible it truly is. But before we do, I wanna give a quick shout out to this video sponsor, Raycon. Trust me, you'll want to watch this more than the actual film. So Raycon has been the longest running sponsor for the channel. Like, I've been working with them since 2019. It is so wild to see how far they've come. Like, I saw an advertisement for them while at the airport, and I was like, ah, I know them, I, I work with them, I'm literally using them right now. As security grabs my arms and drags me out of the airport. <laughs> and to celebrate their birthday, and to thank everyone who's shown them support these past six years. Raycon is offering 20% off everything on their site. Hell, some of these products are even 40% off. Now, I personally recommend the workhorse of the Raycon fleet, the Everyday Earbuds. They deliver high quality audio, a 32 hour battery life, tap functions such as noise isolation, and also come with a perfect in-ear fit for all day wear and lasting comfort. And all of this at half the price of other premium audio brands. Let's just say those 78,000 five-star reviews are there for a reason. So join me in celebrating Raycon's sixth anniversary with their biggest sale of the year going on now. Hurry now to buyraycon.com slash saberspark and use code BIRTHDAY to get 20 to 40% off site-wide. Guys, I legit use my Raycons every day. I love them. They've been a longtime supporter of the channel. Go hit them up today. All right, back into this poo pile. Yeah, I said it. So it's on Tubi and um, we're gonna die. This guy is like a Slenderman, like a horror looking character. Look how skinny he is. He's got his socks on. He's so skinny and his clothes are like a part of his... <laughs> skin that's uh not someone fun. whoever whoever did the uh the modeling for these characters someone didn't learn how to do like Anything. like clothing folds and the only reason for making a buzzing noise that i know of is because you're a bee I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> when i first watched this clip he sounds like a donald trump version of winnie the pooh like not <laughs> <laughs> like just listen to his cadence. And the only uh, reason for being a bee that I know of is making honey. <laughs> <laughs> why is he smiling like that? What's oh, winning? why What's is he moving right like now? that? Oh my god! Wait, what? Ew. Oh no! Oh no! 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 <laughs> I don't think so. What's I don't movie? think so. Movie. You better stop that. <laughs> what? What's happening? What? The blue one's even me. How? Oh, it's for your birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, dude, I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my 
my god, it looks like he has a little penis. Yeah, you saw that, right? But... Oh, we need to poop. <gasps> there Let's he is. Pick what... Hello. It's snowing. Oh, oh creepy. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that is such a dramatic shot. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Hunting. Why is that so intense to look oh, at? For men. <laughs> Yeah, there's Eeyore. Oh no! That's no, off. That's awful. That's not Eeyore. And now we're in the jungle. That's Eeyore. Yeah. Oh no! It's so as I can. That see. waterfall looks fucking oh, awful. It's so gross. Like, it's like way too in focus. It's right. like in the foreground with Piglet, even though it should be blurry in the background. Fuck, why are they so bad at their jobs? Ooh. Yeah, yeah that's pretty rough looking. Oh. Huh? I'm very glad that I. Oh. It'd be happy. 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 Overall, this movie sucks. It's free on Tubi, but I would rather recommend you just take a hammer and just crush your fingers instead, all right? Uh, the film never existed for a good reason. It was all for the sake of just capitalizing on being a, a copyright coattail, you know, writer, and there are far better movies out there to watch. Uh, so don't waste your time here on Winnie Dash the Dash Poo 2023. Uh, go read a book instead. Go read Winnie the Pooh. Go play Kingdom Hearts and hang out with Pooh. That is far more preferred than this garbage. Do they dig up a grave? <laughs> Do they dig up a grave in a graveyard? Weird. Weird. And the, <laughs> I am the mafia leader. <laughs> I will kill your infant daughter. <laughs>